Okay, so basically the technique that we're using here is our, an ELISA technique which is an enzyme immunoabsorbent assay and we're using uh, this analyzer to measure um, tissue transglutamase uh, antibodies which are primarily found in patients with celiac disease. Um, celiac disease is found in approximately one in every hundred um, persons in, the, in Europe and how this uh, technique uh, works is that uh, tissue transglutamase antigen is uh, bound to uh, a plate, the surface of a plate. We then add, um, the machine then takes the patient's serum, which uh, if they have celiac disease will have celiac antibodies. The antibodies are then, um, patient serum is then added to the plate and uh, left to incubate. This allows the uh, serum to bind and if the patient contains antibodies it will bind to the TTG antigen on the surface of the plate. The machine then does a series of washes to remove any um, unbound antigen and then now we'll need some method of detecting the antibody. So a uh, second uh, uh, anti-human antibody is added and to that is conjugated peroxidase and peroxidase can um, evoke a colour change when you add the substrate TBM. So then the, so we next add perox, um, conjugated uh, antibody and this then binds to the patient's um, antibodies, tissue transglutinase antibodies. Washing is then occurs and then this removes any unbound antibodies. The machine then adds the substrate and this evokes a colour change. The product peroxidase um, changes the uh, colour of the substrate to deep blue. And so according to the amount of uh, antibody present in the patient's serum, the deeper the colour will be. The reaction is then stopped by then adding um, peroxide, which turns the colour of the plate yellow. And uh, then the absorbance colour is red at a 490 nanometers and that gives you the concentration of antibody in the patient's serum. an ELISA based assay for celiac disease. The uh, plate is coated with um, tissue transglutamase antigen, which I'm going to add now. I'm just typing in the assay details. machine takes the plate inside and then it asks you for the reagents that it requires. So. so the first thing it asks us to uh, load is our negative control. We then add a positive control. And then we add six standards, which give us basically our calibration curve to allow us to determine the concentration of TTG antigen antibodies. So I'm going to add those now. Okay. Next, the machine asks for diluent and that's used to dilute the patient's sera and the controls. It then asks for a stop solution, which are stops the reaction.
Next, it asks for the substrate. That's, uh, as I sp told you earlier, that causes the color change. And then it asks for conjugate. This is basically anti-human antibody and to that is conjugated peroxidase which then reacts with the substrate and causes the colour change. And then it just requires some more diluent, so I'm going to put that on. Next, the machine I then checks whether we have enough wash buffer. So, wash buffer is added. And then if we've got enough deionized water. It then asks us to check that we've loaded enough strips. So these are the strips here. So within these strips, the machine comes along, takes up the patient's serum and does the dilution within the strips. Then checks whether we've got enough tips on board, which we have. Then ask if the waste container is empty. It is because I emptied it. <laughs> and we just check that there are not enough tips. There are not tips in there. So. Okay, so text the plate. So then the machine creates a timeline which actually shows us how long the assay will take. So I'm going to fast forward the process now. Picks up the plate. So it's taking up the diluent. And then it puts it into the wells of the plate. So basically it's going to dilute all the patient samples and then it's going to transfer the diluted patient sample onto the plate. Okay. Um, it then incubates it to allow time for the, if the patient uh, sample contains tissue transglutaminase antibodies, which are specific for celiac disease, it then incubates it for a while to give them time to bind to the TTG antigen which is coated on the surface of the plate. It then performs a wash and that then removes any unbound antibody. And then next, it's going to then add, um, as I said before, it's going to add uh, anti-human antibody because now you need to visualize the antibody. And linked to that antibody is a peroxidase. And that enzyme will catalyze the substrate, which it then adds to the plate next and cause a color change. So it will cause a deep blue color change. And the color change is directly proportional to the amount of antibody 
uh, tissue transglutinase antibody in the patient's serum. So the deeper the colour, the more antibody there is. And then we just need to stop the reaction all at the same time. So then we, it, it adds um, phosphoric acid and that causes a yellow colour change. So it just stops the antibody. And then we are basically then reading the intensity of that colour change, which is proportional to the amount of antibody produced. It produces a calibration curve, as you can see. So for the standards, the standards contain um, tissue transglutaminase from zero to 200 micrograms, 200 units per mil, and that forms a calibration curve. So from that, you can, from, and on one axis, it put, plots the optical density and the concentration of your antibody. So from that, you can plot how much our uh, tissue transglutamase antibody is present in the patient's serum, and then that generates it as a positive or negative result. Mm -hmm.